Alrighty guys, so this is a quick update on the Panzer. Um, have been quite busy and as you will see we have a slightly higher voltage than we had last time and uh, we've been needing to do a lot of uh, stuff with uh, charging so uh, let's go have a look at that and uh, we'll show you guys what's been going on Alright guys, this is a very quick look at our Brusa charger setup. Um, just went ahead and pretty much installed it there. Uh, it's charging away as we speak. And uh, mounted it in the box. Plenty of big holes for, for air. Just wired it straight into the um, AC input and battery systems. So I've also mounted the remaining battery in the back here. Connected it all up with a nice um, um, isolator switch in here. And just in the process of tidying up, that's all the old capacitive charger stuff that we've just pulled out. So, yeah, pretty much we are coming near the end of the charge now. Um, just coming down and once it drops below 3 amps, it will switch off. So, I'm just going to be tweaking it. As you've seen before, this PC interface software for sending the profiles is horrendous. Uh, but I, once I have it set up, you can just use a serial terminal like this to monitor the, the charging status, which is fine. Um, and I'll also then be using the JLD404 in the car um, as we have it in there in order to just act as a kind of a supervisor if the charger tries to go above a certain point it'll just shut off the power to it and particularly with these um, li lithium manganese cells that's particularly important um, so yeah that's kind of it guys um, for the minute uh, we are going to be doing another test drive soon uh, better get out of this wind. Yeah, we're going to be doing another test drive soon. Uh, I've just pretty much got to get this place tidied up here now. Uh, get everything bolted back in. But we're now running with the full battery voltage. Uh, which is quite good. Um, had a few problems tuning the inverter. But that's now done it's driving very smoothly i'm sure there's a little bit more efficiency i can ring out but it's dri it's dri dri driving which is the main thing um as i say i didn't want to give you guys a whole uh big video on every nut bolt screw wire terminal that i did with this thing um i just kind of wanted to give you a up an, an update uh, let you know that I haven't been kind of just sitting around uh, the Panzer project is very much number one um, so with the Brusa in now with the uh, full battery in we can start doing some real test driving fairly soon I still have the the, the NCT repairs to do before I can start really stretching its legs because uh, I just don't want to get caught with no with no uh, no NCT on the car um, after all the work that I've put into it uh, I really could do with without that so that's kind of why I'm only driving it locally I know some pe some people had questions about that but that's why I don't want to take it out on the main drag, it's just more chances of there being a, ch a checkpoint. Um, and besides, uh, I, re I really don't want, want any way to drive a car too far without a valid, uh, valid NCT. Uh, because if I did have a problem, um, I'm pretty sure that my insurance company would immediately leap on that as a means to deny any claims. Um, so that's kind of about where we're at. The Brusa is in. It's running. I'm sure I'm going to have to tweak the hell out of it. 
Uh, main thing is, it's a fairly simple fit. Once I got my head around all of this configuration software and this horrendous profile management program that they have here, and of course, as you'll know from previous videos, I had to go out and buy this piece of junk uh, just to be able to run that thing um, due to it needing the hardware serial port at a certain address. Um, but now that we have that, uh, we can pretty much just box the car up now and get the NCT repairs done and we start doing some, te some test driving. Alright guys, thanks a lot for staying with me and I'm going to keep this one short and uh, we will be back soon when we're taking the car for a little bit of a spin with the higher voltage battery. So, thanks a lot, thanks for tuning in, thanks for staying with me, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you all back next time.